Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, is it worth it to buy a pre-constructed commander deck? I feel this is the wrong question to be asking, and I'll tell you why. But first, let's quickly answer it. This video will largely be focusing on the pre-constructed commander decks of 2013. The MSRP on these commander decks is $30 US. Looking at the total card value of these sets, we can see that, while some are worth more than others, they are all worth $30. However, it is important to note that, as of the filming of this video, all cards within these sets have fallen to prices of $5 or less, with the exception of Toxic Deluge, which is still a $10 card, and of course True Name Nemesis, which is now at about $24. Even Soul Ring is now overprinted to the point of being only $3. This means that, with the exception of a few $5 cards like Baleful Strix, the rest of your cards within these decks are only worth a couple of dollars each, with most being under a dollar in value. Remember, 40 bulk rares valued at a dollar each might add up to $40, but good luck actually selling or trading them for that. However, this is not to say these decks are just bulk. Far from it. Many of these cards, even some of the $1 rares, are commander staples, meaning that even if you disassemble this commander deck one day, you'll find uses for many of the pieces. In addition to the commander staples, many of these cards were printed just for commander. In other words, unique cards that have not appeared in any standard block. At $30, this seems a reasonable choice both for brand new commander players and for experienced ones as well. But in choosing a pre-constructed deck, you are giving up a choice. The choice to select your commander from the list of thousands of candidates, and then engineering 99 cards that all interact effectively with that commander, as well as with one another. So yes, overall, the pre-constructed commander decks are worth it from a financial perspective, but at this point we have now begun to discover the proper question, which is, should I buy a pre-constructed commander deck or build one of my own? To some, that is not an important choice, while to others that is an overwhelming choice. But for a great deal of us, it is the most important choice in the game. Choosing your own general and your deck's style and strategy. Commander is a fun format. Although many people and groups play it competitively, it is a format based on the concept of personal enjoyment and group dynamics. Part of this is centered around the idea of your individual style, as reflected by your deck. With 100 cards, your commander deck should function like a well-oiled machine. For many players, the greatest fun comes from the construction and then continued fine-tuning of that machine. With a pre-constructed deck, that process has largely been taken care of for you. Sure, you have three possible commanders to choose from, although one is typically considered to be vastly superior to the others available within the deck. You can also make adjustments and fine-tuning to your pre-constructed deck, swapping out cards you don't favor for those you do, and putting your own individual stamp on it. And there is nothing wrong with this. In the end, it is up to you, the player, to decide. The Commander pre-constructed decks are financially worth the money spent on them, but that money might be more appropriately spent buying singles to construct a deck from scratch. If you are 100% new to the format and want a quick, effective deck to play against your friends, then spending $30 on a pre-constructed deck is an easy way to get started. Also, if you are an established commander player who likes to make multiple decks, buying a commander pre-constructed deck can net you at least $30 worth of staples and unique commander cards to add to your own toolkit. But if you want to have the commander experience from the ground up, Building a deck of your own by making your own choices and having that deck reflect you as a player as well as a deck builder, then you might just buy the singles you need to construct your own commander masterpiece. But before you decide, see what I have to say about selecting a commander and some of the most underrated and underused commanders out there. Then consider my guide to constructing your first commander deck after choosing that general.